Hello everyone and welcome back to The Tales of Bentley Chapter 11 And since I last left off, as I said, I went down, I've done a little bit more mining Uh, we actually did some pretty good, um, stuff Um, lots of lapis, pretty good amount of coal, um, lots of diamonds, wonderful And, uh Hasn't really been too long since we last left off, but I actually did a little uh, remembering. I uh, I, I kind of remembered some stuff I actually wanted to, to do fairly early on. Um, this is actually something really good to look into as well. Um, so we're going to start working into that today. And uh, step number one, we're going to need some obsidian. Now, I do not believe we actually made an actual portal yet to the nether, and in all fairness, that actually kind of scares me because I don't know if I did go. And if I did, I don't remember. And if I didn't go, I don't know what's there. So that kind of is a little worrisome to me. So what we're going to do, um, we got ourselves our 10 pieces of, of obsidian we need to make the smallest portal possible. Uh, where do I want to put this? I feel like I kind of want to make a shrine for this at some point. Ooh. Well then, we can use existing structures to make ourselves a shrine. That may not be a bad idea in all fairness. Let's do it. Now this, you guys have got to go. I need to trim you guys up because you're... Really? These drills, you have to be careful with them. They are extremely powerful. Man, look at all this vineage going on in here. That's a lot of vineage. We need to clean up our our vineage. This is just insane. It's almost too much. And good enough. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is, uh, let's say, oh, it's perfectly made already for it too. Like, seriously, like, thank you? Is all I have to say. So there we go, there's our beautiful portal, and we utilize those as well. Here we go. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please, Waystone, work, work through dimensions if necessary and need be. Did I mention I'm worried? Yeah, I'm worried. Yeah, I don't think we, we've gone here yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we haven't. Hello? Am I dead again? Nope, we're good. Well, hello! We have gone deeper. Let's grab our bag. I didn't bring any food, so we're gonna have to make this trip relatively quick. If at all possible. Now, we're not gonna be here for too much. Now, I do want some of this basalt eventually, because I love the basalt. Uh, and, and what Quark has added. Who are you? Hi! Ah! Butthole! Butthole! I hate you! I was trying to be nice! Oh my gosh, you are extremely powerful! Holy crap on a butthole stick! Alright, we need to go back. This is, let's, let's, let's see. Oh, it does work through dimensions, look at that. Well, it's just wonderful and happy in all sorts of places and things. Alright, we need to get some food. Chick literally only gave me a gold nugget. All right, so uh, definitely have, has been, uh, and apparently a silver nugget, uh, confirmed that it's completely evil, but relatively still. So, um, unfortunately, we won't be able to use our warp stone to get back anytime soon. So we are going to go ahead and make our way back there in a moment. Let's keep an eye on this. I think these guys are probably going to be finishing up here relatively soon. Uh, we need to look at make it some more food though, like for real. Um, let's see what kind of ingredients we currently possess. Um, if we go to usage on sugar cane, we can make sugar. Let's see if we can make anything good with sugar, food wise. All right, we can make sugar cookies, cake, which is kind of a pain. Oh, chocolate cake! Hello, chocolate cake! You look delicious. Fit for king, uh, might I add. Oh, we can make mana cakes. Uh, mandrake pie. Pumpkin pie. Which 
chocolate truffle. There's not really a whole bunch. We really should get a uh, a small farm up and running real quick, just here inside the walls. We got some beetroot seeds. We got some regular seeds. We got some hemp, which doesn't really give us food, but it'll be nice. Uh, we got some melons. So let's just go ahead and start hitting up some farmage real quick. Something small and easy. Very, you know, we got some potatoes as well. Let's get those going. Um, let's take a look at this too real quick. Can we do anything with melon special? Nope, not really. But um, I'll go ahead and grow them anyway. So we're going to make a simple hoe. Simple tool. Real quick. Uh, I think we can use aquamarine. And um, much of the gems to make. Yeah. See, time to farm. Still have yet to get that achievement. We are a little behind. But don't you worry. Uh, so I think we're going to place the farm over on yonder side here. So we need to grab some water. And eventually we'll probably get it moved. But for now, let's just maybe pop. Yeah, we're going to maybe pop it back here. Yeah. Where are these pigs coming from? Why do you not ever give me bacon? That's all I want. I just want your bacon. Bacon's good and guy. Whoa. All right, maybe not put it there. I was unaware that there was uh, any excess amount of land down there. That's interesting. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and till up some of the, the land here. That should be the right distance, I believe. And uh, we'll plant a good chunk of wheat just to kind of get some stuff going. Uh, let's get some hemp, because hemp is awesome. Uh, oh yeah, and worms! Look at that, I totally forgot about the actual initial worms. These are actually really, really nice, because they all help increase uh, the speed as well. Uh, so I guess we need to place those first and then place that on top. Plus they'll also keep the land hydrated for you as well. Um, now, since it's nighttime, let's go and sleep through that night. I think we're going to get to a point probably fairly soon where we won't have to worry about sleeping too much and having this problem right here where I will be back in just a minute. All right, guys, and we're back. So I just placed out another worm right here. Um, pretty cool. So if you ever, you know, don't have another hoe, you can use worms. They'll automatically do the hoeing for you as well. Um, pretty cool stuff. Just throwing that out there. We're, uh, we're going to plant a few more things, toss in some beetroot, a little bit of potatoes, and we'll just kind of let this stuff do its, you know, do its thing. <laughs> there you go. There we go. So hopefully that'll help keep us going with uh, food production over time. It looks like our... Indo flames need a little bit more love, so let's go ahead and get our last few blocks of coal, which we'll have to get some more of that made up very shortly. But for now, one, two, three, four, four, five. There you go. Eat them up and enjoy. Now, uh, from what I'm noticing, in all fairness, the Indo flames aren't really producing as much as I I kind of remember, considering we're using actual blocks of coal, um, which means they should last longer than normal. Um, so I'm guessing mana production on the Endo Flames has kind of been cut a little bit in that sense just because they're easier to make and such. So um, did I actually have this food before or was, or am I just crazy? No, I think I got that out of the, um, the furnace when I got back. All right, let's go back. Let's go back, 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 back. Hold on one second. Give me a moment, guys. I hate, I hate doing this to you, but I need I need to see something real quick. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. My bad. Apologies. We're back. All right, let's get back into the Nether. Hopefully, not dying too badly this time. We got a little bit of food. Obviously, we got good armor. Um, we got a good weapon, and we are intelligent in some respective sense. Our waystone is ready to go. Now, what we're actually in here for isn't necessarily the basalt, like I was mentioning before, or death, the things that were trying to kill us before. Also, like this gas here that's staring at me. It's probably meant to shoot one of his uh, little giant fireballs into my face, but good luck to you, my friend, trying to hit me. 
What I'm looking for is something a little bit more simple. Something... Actually, hold on a minute. Turquoise ore, huh? Do I have turquoise? I don't know if I have turquoise. I need to just find the gem that I really, really like and just use that to make all of the all the good stuff. I mean, seriously, look at that. Attack speed 80%, melee damage 3, magic protection 3, protection 14. That's like a really good for like armor. Right? Isn't that good armor? I mean, it's not bad. It's not the the best, but blue topaz. But no, in all seriousness, what we're actually looking for is a little bit of soul sand. That's right. So I see I got my eyes on it over there. We're going to try to make our way there without too much damage. This is going to hurt. Why did I jump? <laughs> Son of a biscuit. I love how the fact we do get our warp stone back. Now, he here's a little bit of an issue. We, we need to get back in there. We, we need to get our stuff back. And we need to try not to die again. Because we just lost a lot of points. That does not look like an aquamarine pickaxe. That does not look like an aquamarine pickaxe. I'm just going to throw that out there. Alright, so with a little bit of a pickaxe, we should be able to get there. I honestly was thinking we might have been able to survive that, maybe with like half a heart to a heart. Uh, but we fainted, we blacked out, and now we're back. Let's go jump and try that again, maybe this time a little bit safer. I just want to try to see if I can speed some things along, but apparently I'm going to make things last longer now. And it's all because I, I'm a butthole. Actually, now that I think about it, we do have some magic spells we could have made in order to kind of help us along with that. But I'm not really too worried about just trying to do that when I could have just build down. I mean, seriously, you have to think about, uh, like, using resources wisely compared to the need. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we really didn't need to do that. Because in all fairness, this is all we really had to do. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of work my way down and make a little, like, a staircase. <laughs> hey, look at my face. There we go. We're good to go now. Get that soul sand. Wait, where's it at? It's over there. Alright, soul sand. Don't you disappoint me. I'm supposed to have a magnet? Ah, what the heck? You bloody hellhound! I don't want to burn to death. Please don't let me burn to death. Thank you. Thank you, dragon armor. I knew I liked you for a reason. Now, we don't really need a bunch of this soul sand. I just want to be, be able to grab what I can of it real quick. It's 14. This is going to give us 16. Thank you. And do you hear that ominous sound? Well, I mean, we got what we came for. We really don't need all of what we got. Um, I wouldn't mind getting some more stuff, but... At the same time, I'm very curious to see what's going on the rest of this place. Probably not the best thing. Now, by the way, before you do this, make sure you close it up. It's always the best. Like this. What is going on over here? What is this? This looks like an actual crystal. Burni burnium ore and a burnium crystal. Ah! Buttholes! Well, I got tiny piles of bur burnium dust. Maybe I should just go ahead and take all of what I can here. This stuff might be uh, useful later on. Like, that stuff looks useful, right? Let's, let's, 
Let's use our insights. So, yeah, see, we can use it to make that. And a burning block, a machine infuser. So, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Whoa. Burn time of 3,000 smells 15 items. So it's almost twice as good as coal. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it very much. Do ba do ba do ba do ba do. Uh, can't say I'm really super happy with the, the another spawn I got, but I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about at the same time. So, look, it's more of that burnium stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's just go stand on it. This sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Buttholes. Is that like cooked food for me? Cooked pork chop. I'll I'll take it. Gold barrel ore. Yeah, I'll take that too. I think this stuff's actually pretty good as as far as Jim's concerned. Um, I don't think this is also one that you can really find in the overworld. I don't think. I mean, it looks pretty good, but we'll hold on to it. I like collecting gems. I can be a gem collector as well, right? That's being a gem collector is not a bad thing. There's a lot of that barrel stuff in here. Beetle. Alexandrite! Oh, yeah, isn't I, I think Alexandrite's really, really good. I think. Don't quote me on that. But if we, like, supercharge Alexandrite, I think it's supposed to be, like, super duper awesome. Where's my backpack? Walk away from that. Don't want it. Wait, what are you? Oh, a spin, spin, spinel, spinel. Did I not pick up any of that Alexandrite? Oh, there it is. So attack speed's pretty good. It looks like it's really good for protection. So might even be something to look at uh, making some supercharged and maybe some armor out of it in the future. Uh, the only reason why I'm really kind of hanging around is I wanted to see if there was like black diamonds maybe possibly poking around up in here. Up in here, up in here. Cause that'd be really... If that's snow, um, I'm, I'm literally just going to question my existence. In all fairness, like literally going to question my existence. Please, nothing knock me down. Don't take me down to any type of paradise at all. What is this? Oh, it's a quartz slab. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. It kind of looks like snow. But I will take a little bit more of um, soul sand. That I can grab real quick. I don't mind one bit. We're just going to teleport out of here in a moment anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, let's go see what that is. What are you? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we just found ourselves some black diamond. This stuff is... The hizzy. That's what we want. That's what I was hoping to find. Oh. I think it's really rare in the overworld and not so bad in the uh, nether. I want to say, hey, look, a fortress. But I also want to go ahead and grab a little bit of glowstone while I'm here. Just, uh, just kids. Glowstone's good stone. Gonna love that good stone. That good stone, that glowstone. Love that glowstone, yo. Let's do it. All right, that's good enough for me. All right, uh, let's head back. Let's go ahead and get our item made that I believe is probably going to, I'm going to say, is a little OP possibly in this pack. Considering everything. Oh, my boots, my leggings, and my helm leveled up to level two. That's... Son of a butthole. I'll be right back. <sighs> Alright guys, and we're back. Finally, and I am awake. We got some black diamond, which I am super excited about. We got some glowstone, some other gems as well. Let's go ahead and toss these away for the moment, as we won't be needing them for what we're going to be working on. 
Uh, but in the meantime, we'll go ahead and clean up some of our inventory space. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this and that and that and this. Uh, so that's a good thing. We only had a little bit of glowstone. We didn't have a whole bunch, but we do want to make sure we have a little bit of that. Some redstone and some gold on us. Uh, we're going to toss these little present things away for the time being. And we're also going to need some soul sand. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to our little friend here. We're going to make up some solium. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to want about five of these guys. So we're going to let those do its stuff real quick. And while it does that a little bit, let's go ahead and make up a few more blocks of coal. Because if I'm not mistaken, I believe our endo flames are going to probably want a little bit of love. So we're going to do about three sets of that. And at the same time, let's go ahead and check to make sure we got power running in these. One and two. Running solely on coal power for a while, which is not horrible, not a bad thing. Because we have uh, fortune on a few of our items now. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, our mana pool's not looking too bad. We're about to get to a uh, fourth. If I'm not mistaken, the chaos essence we were looking to make last episode is going to take about an eighth. Yeah, a little about an eighth or a little more than an eighth to make one chaos essence. So once we get about to a halfway mana pool, looks like we'll probably be pretty good about making. Um, one of our uh, material, what is it called? Material grader? Yeah, that little guy right there. We're gonna be making one of those, a material grader. All right, so we got a little bit of solium come cooked up. We got some energetic alloys, which is awesome. This is something else we're gonna be needing. What I want to make, I don't know if you guys know, but you know, Ender is pretty awesome. I want to make an experience obelisk. Yeah. I know, I went through all of that just to make an experience obelisk, right? And I didn't even tell you guys. I know I should be ashamed, right? Probably not. Not going to be ashamed. Hashtag definitely not ashamed. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be making that guy. So, the purpose of that is to store all the experience we get from mining, all the experience we get from anything, period, into that obelisk. And then once we start getting more points, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if we retrieve those, it'll give us those points and uh, level points, right? 100 rewarded experience stored? Wow, you just make it sound like it's amazing. All right, so first off, we need this experience rod. So this is going to be pretty easy. Done and done. Uh, next up, we need to make our machine chassis. I don't know if I have any extra iron bars laying around. I don't want to make them if I have them. Oh, I do. Cool. Glad I checked. Uh, do we have any capacitors? Like, any extra capacitors? I don't believe so. And a block of redstone does not belong in there. It belongs here. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another capacitor made up. Oh, I'm missing copper. But I know I got copper. This... That's copper. Okay. I got more copper. I just was just making sure. All right. So copper for you. Move that over. And we are missing solium, which we should have another couple ingots in there worth. We can use our portable crafting table and make our experience obelisk. Now, this guy we want to put in a completely safe spot. How about in the open right here? That sounds great. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to store all of our player experience right in there. So anytime we die, we know we're going to go into an area that is, uh, you know, a little dangerous or maybe we won't come back. So all of your experience, any excess you get after that, and mining. So let's go do a little... We're just going to do a quick bit of mining. We're just going to go get some, uh, some experience real quick. Let's just put all of this. I'll put... Not that. Put all that in there. Let's put this, 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 and this in there. This, 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 this. Does not require that either. I'm trying to keep myself somewhat organized. Actually, let's put all that in there. Not really the place I want to put it, but I'm just going to put it in there anyway. All right, cool. 
And we'll go ahead and double check real quick on our... Yep, they're good. We need to go ahead and pop in another uh, few of these guys. There we go. That's why I like keeping an eye on those little fellas. So we're going to grab a little bit of experience. Um, if we get about, you know, 10 levels, it should be relatively more simple for us to get... Let's go ahead and make our way all the way down. All the way down. Um, it should be pretty easy for us to level up a little bit quicker. And uh, might mean we possibly will be able to dump even more into it. So I went ahead and made my way down pretty, pretty far. There we go. Down to you know Y level 5 here. So that way I can uh, find a lot of goodies. Because I like goodies. Goodies are good. Goodies are good. Hashtag goodies are good. We'll go ahead and start a little bit of a mine here. Now, the, the backpack's amazing. Um, mining regular ore is amazing. As you can see, it gives us more stuff. We got onyx. And it's like we're already level four. Like, really? Level five. Like, just coming down here, doing this, it just, it, it pumps you up. Like, literally. Like, I, I'm pumped up right now. Like, I am, you don't even know how, you don't even know the half of how much I am pumped up right now. Just from this. And look at that. Diamonds. Redstone. Gems. Seriously? We're already level 9. It doesn't take that much. It does not take that much. We come down here to get a little bit of coal, some iron, some other goodies. Like we're level 10 already, and then when we're back, we can just dump in all of our experience we've made. And then when we're ready, once we decide we can get higher than the level that we actually have, uh, you know, topped out at to get more experience, then, uh, yeah, we can look at doing that. But every time we sit here and just grab ores or, or mine anything that's going to help us, and it's just going to give us more and more experience. It's just great. So I feel like the experience obelisk, in a sense, is going to be a little overpowered. But like I said, that could just be me. Um, if you guys want to try it, by all means, see what you guys think. I think it's definitely going to be a wise investment. Not just in the sense... Ooh, that was cool. Not just in the sense of making sure you don't lose any experience that you've already had, but I think it's actually going to help you, like, level up a little bit faster. You know, getting up into the two hundos even, possibly. Like, that, that, like, that's going to be great. Like, look at that. We just got gold, like crazy. We just, you know, mine up that way. So, so what is that one? That, that wasn't right. So, we need to go down this one. The backpack definitely helps. The a drill is definitely going to help us out. But at the same time, you know, I kind of feel like it's all nice and balanced. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. Super, super cool. All right, I think that's good enough. We're going to call it right there. We're going to head back up and deposit what we've already got. The 15 levels. Boom, 23. Wasn't a lot, but it was enough. And if we pull all of this out, pulls us right back up to level 23. So definitely not a bad thing. And I don't know, it might be a little, little nerf. We'll see. But uh, we let our, our drill charge. We can put all of our gems away for now. We got some black diamond today, which I'm super happy about. Uh, we're slowly but surely working our way through Batani to get some more mana so we can start supercharging some of our items and getting the material greater. So we can look at uh, getting even more out of our gems once the time comes for that. So I'm going to go ahead and call it there for today, guys. And I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's chapter of The Tales of Bentley. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys around in the next chapter. Uh, with that being said, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. Be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. And if you guys are even more interested in seeing some other videos from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that little bell notification to see when they go live and all of that great stuff. I want to say thank you guys again. We'll see you guys next chapter. And until then, goodbye.